Painting should be seen in person. A lot of what we do as artists now is we communicate online and people find us online, but at the end of the day, we're all makers. We make things that should be seen in space. So for a long time I've collected Victorian and Edwardian photographs. And so I've made a series of paintings based on those found photographs, mostly anonymous photos of men uh, with beards. I like the stoicism of the figures and the ability to interpret color out of black and white photography. I like the contrast between the kind of stiffness of the original poses and then it gives me a lot of room to elaborate and animate them through expressive gestures. Portraiture is kind of an uncool thing to do right now. Traditionally, painting was um, sort of served a purpose. So I'm sort of using, I sort of hijacked an old form of painting, it's really a traditional form of painting, and I'm using it for new means. Bubble and Squeak, which is the, it may be the largest painting I've painted. There might be one that's a little bit bigger, but it's the largest portrait. I like the, just stressing the abstract nature of it. The closer you get to the face, the more abstract it is. It's hanging high on the wall, so it kind of comes together, but I think if you get up close, then it starts to sort of come apart and be about uh, marks and paint application. I want to show how the thing is made. I think space is an interesting place to show because it's a creative space where people are really working. So I think it's nice, hopefully all of our work can be inspiring and be in conversation with everybody who works here.